Whether you're at a job interview, cocktail party, or out on a first date, we all want to know what people are really thinking. We sure do. Mm -hmm. In the new book, Truth and Lies, best-selling authors Mark Bowden and Tracy Thompson illustrate the essential points of body language with examples from everyday life, and they both join us now. I am. I have never adjusted myself so many times in an intro because I feel I'm being judged. Right, right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what is? What well, you... this would be like relaxed, comfortable. Uh, sure. Sure, I'm not an open. Sure if it's working for you, Mark. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, we, it's a bit crowded here, isn't yeah. it? It's like, it's like I was saying earlier, it's, you, all we need is a big do dog to jump on us. <laughs> you know. Right. Well, if we could get you two to straighten up for just a second, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the dating world and online dating because uh, obviously it's exploding loaded over the last, I don't know, decade or so. Yeah, there's a uh, huge industry around it, and we were researching for the book, just found it fascinating. It's just this, there's a photographer that contributes to our book who's just in that world of creating pictures for online profiles. How for online important dating. is that, your picture? Because that's obviously your calling card and the first thing most people see, right? Well, that's how they judge you. Yeah, immediately. Immediately, they're, they're, they're swiping based on what do they immediately see? Are they attracted? Do they think, uh, you know, this will be a good relationship or a bad one? Based based on microseconds of experience about you. So what should you do and not do in that profile picture? In that profile picture, you have to look relaxed, find something that makes you happy. So the advice we, that we took from our contributors is to take a picture with things that, that tell something about you. Like if you, are, if you love cars, don't sit with a hand, your hand in a Ferrari if you don't own one, but have like a book about a car show or be at a car show or something like that. No sunglasses. That's a big one. And just look comfortable, relaxed, open body language, good eye contact, uh, a gentle smile. Okay. Well, you know, that's interesting. So your profile picture should tell something about you then. So yes. uh, t tell a bit of your story. Sure. More of, a, more of a context. Otherwise, you know, they can't understand what your, you know, uh, uh, what you like, what your hobbies might be, what kind of person you're going to be. Some of these are a bit strange, though. There were some pictures there of, of people with, with large horses and things like, yeah, I mean, there, there's some, there's yeah, some odds. People there's do a, strange things. Yeah, people do strange <laughs> things. And a, and a lot of own Ownership, this idea of touching something that you might own, be it a, a Ferrari or a large horse. Mm. Uh, it, it, you know, these, some of these things can look a little bit odd now. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, let's move to the actual date. You've swiped, what do you do, swipe right if for a date? You swipe right. Okay. So I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Having not Tell us more. Uh, okay, yeah, let's let not incriminate myself here. Just swipe right. Okay. <laughs> and, it's, once and it's addictive, by the way. Yeah. I'm sure lots of people out there know. Once you swipe right and you're going to go, and then you go out on the date, what, let's talk about the body language that you should be exhibiting out on the date. Sure. Because so he calls me, let's talk about the handshake, because you always tell me I'm the crippler oh, yeah. when it comes to handshake. So is that not a good thing let to have, have a good... Have a go. That's good. Thank you. That's great. See? Yeah, that's fine. Look, what does he know? <laughs> Is he an expert on body language? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a that's a great that's a great handshake because okay. it was it was firm. You looked me in the eye. You were open with your body language. I guess the things you want to avoid are being first of all closed with your body language and right. no eye contact. I mean, if I show up to our date together and I won't look at you and I'm closed up like this, you know, uh, what's your prediction about how good a date this is going to be today? Yeah. And similarly, if you're, if you're kind of lent back and slumped over, if you look like you got no energy, then it also it's not going to, to, to read like a good date for the person you're, you're meeting. Even if you're just trying to relax, you could look so relaxed that you're going to fall asleep, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Is that key in the conversation as well? Make eye contact, do a lot of nodding, and that sort of thing? Sure. So eye contact means that somebody has value. So if I'm getting eye contact with you, that means you have more value. Uh, so I want to share out the eye contact here. Yeah. But, you know, if I don't get eye contact with you at all, but I'm still speaking to you, you start to presume that there must be something more interesting uh, out there. So, yeah, eye contact's really important for showing somebody that they have value. But real eye contact, not the eye contact where you're looking, but you can you can see that they've really ventured off. Oh yeah, if I, if I get no? eye contact with you, but I'm actually kind of looking <laughs> past you at somebody who might be, or I do that thing of looking at your forehead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just a bit weird, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> you know what's also really not that comforting on the date is if the, the date is staring at their phone again and swiping right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'm looking for tell tale yeah, yeah. That's the experience <laughs> that you've actually <laughs> had. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, kiss or okay, I'm gonna go right to it. Yeah. Kiss or no kiss? Because that's a that's oh. a heck of a Ooh. piece of body language. Well, on the first date. Uh, I, I think we give advice in the book about how to test whether when you make a judgment about how things are going, what you should do. We don't actually tell people to go in for the kiss. First we might say, <laughs> first we might say like, you know, close the proximity, you know, get a bit closer, mm. you, lean in, uh, you, you know, t smile, keep that eye contact going. You know, who's to, who's to know how the evening's gonna go? But I guess if you don't win, if you don't play, you can't win, as they say. Right? Well, here's what right. we know. If you come in really fast in their peripheral vision, for sure they're gonna go like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So you gotta, you gotta close it, as you were saying, slowly. Take it very, very slowly. Again, some kissing can seem a bit like a, 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 an act of ownership. Remember, we kiss trophies that we've won. So you've got to be careful that it is very mutual rather than right. I'm just going to kiss you because you're mine. All right. The uh, book yeah. is properly. called yeah. Truth and Lies, What People Are Really Thinking. Mark Bowden and Tracy Thompson. Appreciate it both. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Nice